Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to show you the brand new steam engine that I've been uh, making for for the past couple months. I just completed it uh, last week and um, I've had a couple of runs on it uh, so far. It's working beautifully. Um, so it's a lot like uh, the other one that I made before. Um, I had an accident uh, with the old one. I uh, wanted to replace the uh, the base plate and uh, with this uh, ceramic uh, tile and uh, by while I was uh, taking things apart, I, uh, uh, I I bent the crankshaft, so I had to uh, make an, uh, a new one. And while I was, if I was going to make a, a new crankshaft, I thought I may as well uh, make a, a whole uh, new engine altogether. So I've recycled the old uh, boiler house. It's the same uh, 680 milliliter um, can of uh, I think it's, uh, it's tomato juice or something like that. Anyway, so I've tested it to about 30 psi, and um, it's uh, at 30, yeah, it will uh, deform permanently, but at 15, it's pretty safe. So I've been running it at around uh, uh, 10 psi maximum, and it actually doesn't need that much. This engine runs uh, perfectly uh, happily at uh, 2 psi, so um, of course it won't produce uh, all that much uh, power at 2 psi, but uh, just uh, good enough to to run it. Um, so yeah, and um, other than that, it's a lot, the principle is exactly like uh, my old one, except it's so much uh, better made. The, uh, the, just the, the, the fit of uh, the pistons and the cylinders and uh, the valves uh, is so much more accurate than, than before. I used actually um, uh, bushings uh, that I bought from General Bearings. They're really cheap. They're brass bushings that fit exactly into these uh, brass uh, cylinders these come from from the local hobby shop they're five eighth of an inch uh, tubes and uh, so you can easily find uh, five eighths uh, bushings and um, anyways and, and actually these are also bushings right here which uh, uh, makes the seal between uh, the the piston rod and um, and uh, the, the, the 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 casing i guess um, uh, what else? I've also made uh, these uh, this exhaust manifold just to keep things clean. Before it, it, it used to spit the uh, the steam and the water and the oil uh, by 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 in the back here and in, in the front. So, anyways, now it's all nice and clean and uh, tapped into these uh, this uh, the single pipe here. So first, I'm I'm gonna put a bit of water in the uh, boiler. I'm not sure. It's, I think it probably has enough, but just to be on the safe side. And this is a normal uh, tire valve or bicycle valve, whatever, and uh, all the same. And I put it there because uh, I wanted to be able to measure the pressure every now and then. So uh, that works well for that. And uh, given that I I don't have a a pressure gauge uh, apparently plugged in so I think I'm just gonna put just a bit of water in there and uh, yeah that should be fine all right oh well might as well just put the whole thing it's gonna take a little longer to uh, to heat up yay alrighty and then the valve goes back in Okay, after that. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is uh, where I um, had some oil. So uh, while the valve is shut now, and it's still heating up, so I'm just going to put a bit of oil in there. A uh, few drops usually does. There, that's good enough. There for safety measure. And then I put this back on. And tighten it with a couple of wrench. So, let's do this. Doesn't have to be super tight. There, that's good enough. And, let's see here what happens. I'm going to turn the heat back on because I reduced it while I was doing this. Looking good in there. Oh, okay, it's starting. Yay! Listen to this. How smooth this engine is. 
my brand new steam engine twin cylinder double acting so it's self-starting the only thing I'd say it's uh, it doesn't reverse because of the uh, fixed sequence of the, the valves so can't really uh, reverse it but that's that's no big deal I don't care Okay, I think I'm going to hook up uh, the generator now. So, I think we're only simply going to hook it up while it's going. Alright, so, it doesn't quite go as fast. That's okay, can I always increase the... Uh, open up the valve a bit. I'm going to let the pressure build up a bit by uh, saving the steam and at the same time I'm going to hook up uh, I've made a couple of uh, I've put together a set of uh, LEDs and uh, with a capacitor just so that it it doesn't flicker as much as it did on my old one now I forget which polarity what, what is the polarity on this uh, motor I'll just try it this way Oh, that doesn't seem to work. There's a diode in there as well, just to make to prevent uh, the, uh, the capacitor from discharging into the motor. Ooh, yes, that works. And of course, the, the capacitor charges, so it's, it stays charged, even though I'm disconnected here. Look at that, how bright this is. Okay, I'm going to crank it up a bit. I'm really happy with this engine. It works really well. Ha! Ah. Running pretty smooth. Give it a bit more gas. And of course, if I, uh, if I remove the, the generator on it, the, if I remove the load, it's going to go a whole lot faster. Yeah. I'm just going to 
claw the wood back. It can go really slow too. Uh, driving it too fast. I'm always uh, afraid I might uh, throw the crankshaft out of balance. So to balance it I installed this uh, this, uh, this screw here that I soldered onto the crankshaft and with a couple bolts so I was able to uh, um, balance it uh, quite accurately. The generator back online. Oops, there. Wow, look at that. I guess the pressure is pretty high right now. And then I'll just turn it off here, turn the gas off, and let it die down. There it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed.